Jesus says, I am always by your side to help and advise you. July 1st, 2016. Words from Jesus through Sister Claire. Spoken by Jackie. The joy of the Lord be with us today, heart dwellers. The Lord is so full of surprises and His longing to be involved in our lives is just beyond comprehension. Lord, this has been a crazy day, so much activity, and now I wish it were just the beginning of the day instead of the end, but at least we are together. Jesus began, I want to speak to you about togetherness with me. This is what I long for from you, Claire, and from all my children, my brides, my believers, new converts, all, every last one. I want to be together with them, an intimate part of their lives. When they go to the store, I want them to ask for my help, to accompany them. When they are in the checkout line, I want them to ask me to protect their eyes from vanity and obscenity. When they come home, I want them to ask for help putting things away. When they come to read their Bibles, I want them to again ask, Lord anoint me to understand and read the right scriptures. Many of you have had ideas from my Holy Spirit at the most awkward times. Taking a shower, putting dishes away, walking the dog, driving to work. That is, when you don't fill your ears with the radio. Walking across the parking lot, taking a break with your feet up. These are opportunities to hear from me, times to share with me, as you would share with a spouse sitting at your side. Confide in me your emotions and ask me to moderate them. Oh my people, you rely on me far too little, far, far too little. Your awareness of my presence is almost zero compared to how present I am to you. Jesus, I try, but it slips my mind. I just assume you're there and I kind of drift off but I act as if I were alone. How do I change that? My darling Claire, why do you think I'm giving you this admonition? Is it not because you ignore my presence and are constantly doing things on your own? Hmm? Okay, I get it. So please teach us how to lean on you, Lord. You just said the magic word, lean. Your days are long, frustrating and unproductive because you do not ask for my help. And when you do, what is the result, please? Oh yes, last night I said, Lord, please help me. I searched my mind as I was sitting there, trying to remember what I asked for help with and I just couldn't. See, you didn't ask me to help you, remember? Lord, what was it I was doing when I asked for your help last night? You were trying to figure out how to put songs on your iPod for worship. And you said, oh Lord, please help me. I don't want to waste time and I have to do this. And what happened next? I googled the question and clicked on the right answer immediately and didn't get sidetracked like I usually do. Cause once you get on Google, you know, anything can happen. And 
or oh, I asked you to help me figure out how to use my palette for your painting. And I found a picture that answered my question immediately and didn't get sidetracked. So you see, when you are operating in togetherness with me, your solutions are swift and without distraction. If you pay very close attention to me, that is what I mean by togetherness and leaning on me, really, in this world, you need three legs to stand on. You need me because your days are fraught with demons of distraction and temptations to learn some new tidbit of fascinating information. If you are not consciously aware of my presence and interest in what you are doing and how you use your time, not in a condemnatory way, but in an instructive, admonishing way, if you are not aware of my presence, you proceed on your own, in your own wisdom, many times. Other times you are acting in my spirit and you do the right thing, but I want to increase your sense of accomplishment so that at the end of the day you are happy, not disappointed, saying, well, tomorrow is another day, maybe tomorrow I'll get it done. This is a defeatist attitude. Yes, there are times when I will upset the apple cart and surprise you with a different direction for the day, but I want you to take me with you all day long and continually lean on me, as if you needed a third leg to stand, because in reality, you do. There are angels that protect you. Your mindful pursuit of the goals set before you will help to get your attention and ask for my help. Too often you assume you can do it on your own just because it is such a simple thing. Yet, there are a hundred different ways you could get thrown off course and distracted, ending in frustration as you march off on your own to do it. And every day you both get distracted, seriously distracted. Wouldn't you like to be more productive, Claire, and feel more on target? Oh, I long for that, Jesus. Well, I'm answering your prayer and the prayers of many on the channel. The dark forces, the demons, have your number. They have a file a mile high on you and know precisely what action will most likely cause you to move in the direction they want you to move in, which is always of course. But when I'm by your side and you are mindfully aware of my presence and help, I protect you from going the wrong way. I'm especially keenly aware of this in your lives now, my children, because I have asked you to work for me and for souls. What good employer does not guide and teach his employees in the best way to proceed? He has been at it for years and has learned by experience what works and what doesn't. He sees when you're overwhelmed and steps in to advise you. I am that good employer, if you will. I want to see you ending your day in thanksgiving to me, saying, Thank you, Lord, not only for all the gifts you've given me, but for the help you gave me today. I truly feel fulfilled. Thank you. To which I want to reply, You are welcome. It is my joy to be with you. Thank you for asking for my help and mindfully following my counsel.
all my people, so few understand just how tenderly I love them and just how fully engaged I am in their everyday affairs. The enemy spends much time heaping all kinds of condemnations on you. He will choose one thing and pound on you with it. And even if you were to do that one thing, he would turn around and tell you, you should have been doing what you were doing when he falsely accused you. You see, manipulation of this sort is an art form they have mastered, but they will never master me. And if you rely on me mindfully, you will see right through their tactics and bring them down on the spot. They want you to be confused. Well, if they enjoy confusion so much, why don't you confuse them? And then I heard this idea. You're going to be in big trouble because I won't listen to your suggestions and you're wasting valuable time here. Besides, you are training me in concentration. Thanks a lot. I don't know if that was my thought or the Lord's, but it came to me at that point. Lord, may I ask the holy angels to cause confusion and infighting in the ranks? You may. You have every right to defend yourself and weaken the enemy. Just don't get carried away or puffed up with vain glory. If you stay humble and reliant on me, Claire, there will be very little necessity for you to do such things, for I will navigate you through the shoals and reefs of confusion. That in itself will be a confusing and frustrating outcome for them. Oh, they think they are so clever. They've got your number, but they don't have mine. Follow me and you will naturally outsmart them and be an evasive target. But really, what I want you to concentrate on is togetherness with me. You know your gifts, you know your work, you know yourself to some degree. When you awake, make a beeline for my will and refuse to be steered off course, and above all, ask for my help. Yes, they plan an obstacle course of condemnation, interruptions and confusion for you every morning. If you just proceed in the right direction from the start, asking me to guide and protect your time and energy, then listening very carefully, you will be amazed at how much you have accomplished in a day. Looking back, you will realize you have wasted a great deal of time trying to do things on your own. I don't want to go on and on about this. I just want you to cultivate togetherness with me and be mindfully aware that I'm working through you. I'm with you. I'm for you. Do not listen to those condemning liars. They are the ones condemned, not you. I bless you now, my beloved ones, with a keen awareness that I'm by your side, advising you every minute of the day. Awaken this awareness by inviting me. Jesus, help me to do this. Put the right words in my mouth. Show me the right actions. Do this in faith and see if I do not increase your joy in all that I help you with. 